Hey there, and welcome back to EDU 90. Tim here, and we're back with another special edition episode from Sydney, Australia. Good day, I'm Swan, and I work with educators to implement technology use in classrooms across Australia and New Zealand. Last week, we looked at some of the innovative ways that Australian educators are using Google Forms. If you missed that episode, check it out in the description below. And this week, we'll build on that with additional Google Forms ideas from around the world. Let's get to it. Let's start with another formative assessment idea. Nathan Gildart from Nagoya, Japan, uses quiz functionality in Forms to help students identify their background knowledge before a unit. This helps pique student interest by sharing a preview of upcoming class content. And later on, the quiz can be repurposed to help students identify gaps in their knowledge when preparing for the unit test. Around the globe, schools are leveraging Google Forms to share instructional best practices and create a culture of collaboration. At her school in Stockholm, Christy Lundstrom uses a simple form to capture data during classroom walkthroughs. She shares a summary view of this quantitative data with her staff, which helps them to develop shared professional development goals. And in the United Kingdom, Darren White and his team leverage Google Forms to collect good practices during open classroom walkarounds. They're able to quickly record ideas of engaging and innovative observations. Later, the teaching and learning leaders at the school use the response sheet to capture the best practices at a glance. These insights can then be used to support staff who want to develop specific skills by passing along categorized best practices or by referring them to colleagues who are especially effective in that area. And lastly, many of you recommended using forms to collect information from important groups like parents and guardians. Educator Christopher Miller takes this idea a step further by using Google Forms to deliver his class newsletter. He embeds a short video to share what he and his students are doing in class and invites parents to share feedback in the form fields below. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. But if you have a favorite use for Google Forms, let us know about it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to the Google for Education YouTube channel for more EDU and ID. We'll see you next time. Looking for some new ideas using Google Forms? Check out our last episode where we share innovative uses from Australian educators.